He's the last one in cross bat, and they're ready to go now. And they're off for the 2018 Betfred Dante Stakes. And immediately Merlin Magic off to a good start. Doesn't seem to want to go on those. Restrained by Sylvester de Souza. Mildenberger on the outside comes through now and is the one that takes them towards the end of the first furlong. White Mocker is settling in second place. Cross batting on his outside, a little bit keen. Followed then by Wells Fargo's red cap, roaring line on the inside of him. Pulling quite hard, Merlin Magic, who's reined back into sixth place now. Nordic Lights, the one who's been quite well gambled on this morning. The Royal Blue of Godolphin is next, and the last two, the Aidan O'Brien pair. James Cook leading Zabriski at the back of the field. They've gone past the seven furlong marker over the far side of the track then, at about eight lengths separates first and last. And Mildenberger and James Doyle takes the Dante field along from Cross Batten in second place for Frankie de Tori. White Mocker on the inside is third. Wells Fargo on the outside is fourth, with between horses then Roaring Lion, the grey. He's just in front then of Merlin Magic, who's still inclined to take a little bit of a hold. And then on his outside is Nordic Lights, followed by James Cook, who's a length and a half clear of Zabriski. They're turning down the side and into the home straight now with just over half a mile left to cover here in the Betfred Dante of 2018. And Mildenberger striding out in front with some purpose. Cross Batten now moving into clear second place. White Mocker on the inside. Wells Fargo poised to challenge on the outer. Roaring Lion traveling well, just behind them. Nordic lights on the move as well on the left as they come down the home straight. Up the inside, Mildenberg is trying to rally again together there with Merlin Magic and Zabriskie. James Cook a little bit outpaced but trying to stay on. Spread right across the course in the Dante. Who's going to assert? Roaring Lion splits the field and comes between them and quickens up in decent style. It's Roaring Lion inside the final furlong of the Dante who's putting daylight between himself and his rivals. He's up by three to four lengths, just edging left-handed, but he's going to run out a really impressive winner of the Dante. Roaring Lion outclasses them. Mildenberger second, Zabriskie third, Merlin Magic in fourth.